Spring AI 1.1.0 Milestone 1 is available now, and this almost feels like a 2.0 release. There is so much packed into it, and I want to quickly cover this blog post by Mark Pollack, the lead of Spring AI. This release includes 391 improvements, bug fixes, and documentation updates. Improvements, 271 enhancements to extend capabilities and functionality, 76 bug fixes, 32 documentation fixes or improvements, and 12 security upgrades. So some key highlights here. Uh, we're not going to get into all this here, but I want to touch on just a few of these. Model Context Protocol, the comprehensive MCP support for AI agent development. Uh, this has been upgraded. One of the biggest things here is giving us the third specification, which is streamable HTTP support. So if you're kind of new here, uh, building MCP servers, we've had the STDIO, the standard in and out. We've had HTTP with server send events. Now we get the third specification, which is the favorable one using streamable HTTP uh, transport. Uh, we get some Spring AI auto configuration and annotation support. Um, expanded model support. So here in this section, one of the big highlights for me is the Google Gen AI SDK integration. So if you've ever tried to use Google Gemini, you've had to use like the Vertex API or do like a workaround with an open AI API. Now Google uh, Gen AI has uh, basically an SDK where you can grab an API key and just use that. So it simplifies getting started with Google Gemini some advanced vector store and RAG capabilities, enhanced multi-model processing, and production-ready stab stability. So there is a lot to go into in here, and we'll see if we can get some videos together on this, but congrats to the entire Spring AI team. This release is awesome, and I can't wait to start playing with it.